Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use scroll views or scroll recs to be able to control content that you have inside them. And then you'll be able to understand how to use this, fit your content within the box. And this is useful for understanding how to start creating dynamic imagery, lists, or anything that you might be able to update in real time in Unity. To create yourself a scroll view from the basic sense is you want to right click, go UI, and choose to create a scroll view. And you will get a basic preview here. I'm going to set the width and height and as you can see with the scroll view now it has no content in it, but it has some horizontal and vertical scroll bars now you can see that it's made up of a scroll bar vertical a scroll bar horizontal now they're a little bit ugly and you can change these yourself but i will show you how to disable them too there is a viewport which has a mask so whatever's inside this will actually be masked and it'll never go out of the edge and we'll never be able to see it and we've got content that we want to show inside this box and also you can see on my canvas, I've got a whole bunch of sprites that I've created our images with just different sprites. We want to place them inside our scroll rec and be able to use them and control them. So if you make sure you open up your scroll rec in, go to content and make sure you grab all of the items or the images that you want to go in there, drag them inside the content panel and you don't see anything because they're all masked off around the edge of the area. As you can see that they don't display unless they're very much in the center. So on my content, I want to add a new component. I want to create a grid layout group. Now with the grid layout group specified, we've got all the icons that we previously wanted. So I'm gonna set the cell size of 200 by 200. I'm gonna set the cell spacing by 20 by 20 so we get a little bit of space. And then we can leave everything as default here, but I'm going to have the child alignment upper center just so that we centralize them nicely. So do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and everything in game dev. Now with this created, we can actually start dragging the things around, but we can access some of the things at the bottom. Now, what we can do on our content is that you want to make sure that your actual content slider here, which we can select, as you see when we move, the actual horizontal bar goes up and down. We need to make sure that it's nice and big enough to actually fit all the objects that we want to create. But to make this easier, we, we can add a component called a content size fitter onto where we had a layer group. And you can see that we want to fit by vertical because it's more of a vertical layout that we want to scroll through. So if we go to vertical and we go preferred size, it will set the exact size. And this will be perfect that if we added more objects at runtime. So now you can see we can scroll up and down. Yes, I can do horizontal, but we'll go through the setting shortly. So now I've got everything. Now let's say if I added more objects at runtime, now you can see that my content size fitter fits it perfectly, even if I add more. Now, we wanted to look at the scroll view and you can see that we don't really like those ugly looking objects on either side. Now I'm going to go to the vertical slide bar and just make sure that I choose none, the horizontal slide bar, click none, and then I can just hide these two objects at the top, just get rid of them. And if we go back on the scroll view again, we can make sure that we disable the horizontal movement because we want to want to move vertical. So we'll not get that anymore. We can go to our viewport and you want to make sure that you drag that viewport binding all the way down just so if you move the viewport, it would mask off the different areas. So we're dragging it all the way down because we've got rid of those items. Make sure the content still has the content fit. Now, if we try and play, we can only scroll up and down with the exact content that we need. And then if you look at the scroll rec settings, you have an ability to increase or decrease the elasticity. So it will be a much greater effect of how the elasticity works and it'll take much more time to bring it back. So it's good to keep that level much lower as about 0.1, just to have more of a smooth effect. If you made it zero, you would get it instantly snapping back to the top. You do have unrestricted if you wanted to scroll forever, but it is good to keep the movement type on elastic so you're always within the bounds of your scroll rect. And remember, with a scroll rect, with the grid layout group, you can use other things like vertical layout groups or horizontal layout groups, and they can help you control bunches of icons without you having to specifically do this yourself. Do be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, 
and everything you can find in game dev. Be sure to check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and massive savings on my website for all those great assets. Big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Berekas, Walter Dunson, Rennie Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Hush, Thomas Versaleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Crew for Life Gaming, Sung G Park, Austin Certain, Gene Quaid, Duane Cooper, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Mark Vacon, Andre Ferreira, Larry Antu, Dylan C, Liam Gray, Woblin Lynn, Dennis Foreman, Lemu, Shane Finley, Cal Frederick, Shibiti Marion, E.H., Darko Penninger, Yesup Gunawan, and Toaster Guy Fury. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.